All right, so we have Scottish Wango Tango. Um, the Wango de Tango. Says, greetings from Inverness. Cheers, I'm, hey. I'm looking ahead to late fall and winter, and I love the great kilt look. Want to buy something more... I want to buy something more practice for modern wear. Would uh, you suggest a day plate or a cape or something similar? I love the great kilt, but I want something... In the fall, modern. So he doesn't want to wear a great kilt with the other thing? That's kind of how I'm taking it. Okay. Huh. Looking at the late fall, I love the, I love the great kilt look. He still loves the great kilt look. Did he say but? But want okay. something more, more practice for modern wear. He's practical. Practical. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not practice. Practical. Yeah. That, okay. Well, that's got how, that's yeah, yeah. how he worded it. So okay. I'm just reading it okay. exactly as worded. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. More practice. More practical from for modern wear. Would you suggest a day plate or cape or similar? I'd go with the day plate. They were invented for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, they're invented for you know picnicking. Yeah, um, exactly. But yeah, well, I, ima and, I imagine since, since he say he likes great kilts, I'm imagining him being out in a natural setting. You know, yeah, like and he said fall. And so he did. Cool he did say practical. Outdoors. He did say practical. Uh, yeah, the voice to text with a Scottish accent doesn't necessarily always work. <laughs> uh, like that elevator <laughs> sketch, right? Yeah, elevator in Glasgow. Yeah, um, yep. yeah. Uh, that would be my thought. That'd be that'd be cool. I don't personally care for capes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, you're not a Scottish superhero. Um, <laughs> well, I think he's probably... He may, the, he may be. But he's thinking like an Inverness L cape. Look, Clark Kent. He's, you know. he's thinking an Inverness cape, you know, which which is very Victorian. Yeah. Um, but they're very expensive. Um, and I just... Eh, I don't really groove on them too much. I think the day plate might be more fun if you're just out for a day hill walking or something like that. I'm and practical. I'm guessing that's the... Yeah. Practical. It's a warm flare. Yeah. Um, a day plate, for those who don't know, it's basically just you know, what two and a half yards of cloth um, that you're gathered up and you know essentially wrap around or wrap around your torso and or just put over the shoulder to to wear out. Essentially, it's like think of it this way: you're going to go out for a picnic and you throw a blanket over your shoulder so you have your arms free. That's essentially what a day plate is. Yeah. So something like that it adds a little bit of fashion fun to an mm -hmm. outfit. Um, yeah, I would I would do day played and just what you would wear for smart day wear outside of it. Yeah, I mean I'm not even sure if day smart day wear is where he's at. If he's again, I'm imagining a, a rustic situation like hill walking. Um so you know, maybe not maybe not tweeds. Yeah, it's with smart all day this, wear, but, but day wear, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But um that's probably how I'd play it. I think that A because of the the flexibility of it, and B because capes are again, they can be very expensive. Um, and they're just, I don't know, they're cool, but they get in the way also. They're just kind of goofy in my opinion. Did he say you know? contemporary? Um, didn't. I think he said something more modern than a great kilt. Modern. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. A little more tailored, a little more technical. Yeah. I was going to say a, if he was going a little more loose, less tailored, a little more in the vein of a great kilt, maybe a, a, a tailored kilt. With a grandfather shirt and a day plate for hill walking. To, yeah. I'm thinking again, fall cool kind of temperatures. Yeah. If he wants something a little bit more contemporary, then I would not do a grandfather shirt. Maybe more contemporary wear or modern wear, but mm -hmm. just you know throw a, a day plate over. It. Yeah, sweater. Yeah. Woolly pulley. Yeah. Yeah, or uh, an Irish sweater. Yeah, anywhere. woolly pulley. I like. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Or a sweatshirt if he's going that contemporary hiking boots. And, yeah. and super casual. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah. Feral yeah. Isle knit sweater vest. I'm a fan of that. But, you know, it's more foggyish. It is. It is. But it still could be good. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think. yeah. I mean, feel free to look into the Inverness capes. But, but the ones I've seen that are either tweed or tartan, they're really pricey. So. Yeah. It, it uses know. a lot of cloth and they're, they're expensive to get tailored. Mm -hmm. um, and it's... It, if you're going to be out hiking, it could be a lot to it carry around. Like you're going yeah. to get warm. Um, with the day plate, you can wrap it around you, right. or you exactly. can just throw it over the shoulder, or you can just throw it in the backpack. A an Inverness cape. If he's talking, about, he just said cape, but Inverness cape. I'm assuming. I think that's what um, it probably means. Then it's a long jacket thing with a cape on the shoulders, so it's going to 
have a lot more heat. Mm-hmm. So no I sleeves. might be, yeah, no Just sleeves, but so it's still, sleeves. but it's still a lot of heat yep. trapped underneath the jacket. So that could make you a bit warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the plate, you don't have to feel about it. Just like throwing it in the boot of your car. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a blanket. Yeah. So it's very forgiving. Agreed. Now I want to see pictures though. I want to see what he comes up with. Yeah, me too. And, and now I, I wish I could go hiking. <laughs> Thank you for watching that video. Anybody out there who is an outdoorsman, please let me know in the comments. I've said this before. What is your loadout when you're going up into the hills? I think the idea of using a day plate is pretty cool. Um, I know reenactors who will have like a wool blanket as part of their kit because that's what the soldier that they're portraying wore. And it's very versatile, very easy to use. And you can experiment with it for cheap, unlike an Inverness cape. Tell us in the comments what you think would be a perfect kilted loadout for hiking.